to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, Wes Troop, and today it's time for another Anticipation Friday. That's right, today is marks the release of Final Destination 5. And if you've been watching the A-list this week, you'll have seen me review Final Destinations 1 and 2. So you know what's coming next, don't you? 4, of course. No, I did 4 already. This is my review of the 2006 horror film Final Destination 3. Destination 3 sees a teen girl have a premonition of a roller coaster accident before she goes on the ride. Uh, or while she's on the ride, but before they take off up the hill. Which saves her life and a few others. However, death soon comes to find the ones who have escaped their fate. <laughs> Mary Elizabeth Winstead, oh yeah, plays Wendy Christensen, who is the girl who has the premonition. Ryan Merriman of my friend Trevor Camiona's favorite show, Pretty Little Liars, really, <laughs> plays Kevin Fisher. Kevin Fisher, I know that guy. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Chris Lemp Lempchi plays Ian McKinley, who is a uh, strange uh, individual in the film. Alex Johnson plays Aaron, Ian's girlfriend. Uh, Sam Easton plays the wonderfully named Frankie Cheeks, who is sort of like a playa, I guess, that can't get none. Hey, right here. No. <laughs> Interesting. Another name. Texas Battle, his real name, plays Louis Romero, who is like uh, the jock of the group, I guess you could say. Oh, yeah. Chalen Simmons plays Ashley Frund, who is a... Uh, basically looks like she belongs coming out of Why Missing High, where I graduated from. Uh, she's a ditz. A blonde-haired ditz. And her friend, uh, Crystal Lowe, plays Ashlyn Harpler, Harpin. She's another brown-haired ditz. Go figure. And Amanda Crew of Charlie St. Cloud fame mm, plays Julie Christensen, Wendy's sister. Sister from another mister. No, I think they're from the same mister. Anyway, so what did I think of Final Destination 3? I thought it is a so-so third installment to the franchise. Uh, it just seems like by now the series has sort of run out of steam, if you get what I'm saying. Um, it seems like story-wise, they just mostly uh, took the first and second movie and stripped it. And just put plot point, plot point, plot point, change the name, change the name, change the scene, change the scenery type deal. Uh, that just seems like it's what's going on. As a coaster fanatic, I definitely enjoyed the roller coaster crash and all the talks of the roller coasters and whatnot. Um, I would definitely want to give the coaster in the film, Devil's Flight, a, uh, a go. Definitely. I like the uh, ho ho ha 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 ha. Anyway, uh, some of the s kills in the film were pretty creative, I thought. And then there were some kills that just seemed plain stupid. But that's just me. One of the highlights of the film definitely is the tanning bed scene, because uh, that's an interesting uh, scene nonetheless. And if you, I don't want to, spoiler alert, um, an interesting kill. And uh, you, we finally get to see cast nudity. Yes, some of the minor characters show their boobies. All right. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I was not a fan of the ending of the film. I just thought that was kind of lame. The cast is okay with Winstead being the best, of course. Uh, she's definitely one of the big reasons I was actually excited to see this film. I shouldn't have been so excited. <laughs> I'm like, oh good, three's coming up. Oh, never mind. But if you're a fan of the series, 
I say it's worth a watch. Therefore, the A-list gives the film Final Destination 3 the rating of meh. You know, it's okay. It's one. It, it basically goes downhill. One, two, three. Uh, it just seems like it's getting silly. Anyway, if you want to check out my reviews for D Final Destination 1 and 2, and of course number 4, I'll post the link, just go back and check them out. And of course, if you want to check out Final Destination 3, you can get it through Netflix and at a DVD store near you. So, the A-list should be up either later today or tomorrow. So you can definitely check it out all the hottest entertainment news this week. But until then, you can subscribe to me right here on YouTube. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on the Twitter. And of course, check out this review and every review at RottenTomatoes.com. So until the next time, peeps, troop, uh...